Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Emerald Dreadnoughts. And today, a scenario sent in by Gamer Man through my Discord server. There's a link in the description down below. If you want to uh, send me your uh, scenario submissions. Now, the restrictions for this build, if this is to be a glass cannon. So it's to have minimum armor. Now, for a battleship, that means an 8-inch belt. Um, but everything else can be set to zero, I'm pretty sure. Which, uh, oh god, is going to be uh, not fun. Yep, oh dear. Um, because uh, we have lots of guns, but we've completely run out of armor plate. Um, I can go with any ship I like. Uh, I might as well go for the Super Battleship too. Um, yeah, turrets are going to just go everywhere. I don't think this can work, by the way. Um, but it has been requested, and I will. Uh, I will. I will try. Um, I mean, we might as well go for the biggest ship possible, the last cannon. Um. Right, a tower, and then we have the advanced tower with funnel, which is just the Russian main tower backwards, which is a bit weird. Um, I actually don't like it. I'm going to go with the modern secondary tower five. Want to keep our our good uh, Prussian looks. Uh, get the Uber Fun five. Diesel, oil... Actually, no, we're not going to go for the... We're going to go for a minimum-sized one. Yes. Okay. Uh, engine efficiency is terrible. 94.1, that's doable. Uh, this is not going to make much of a difference. Uh, actually, I can increase the displacement without. There we go. Um, now then. Yes, a <laughs> superstructure built with the finest Italian leather. Yes, indeed. Uh, this is uh, not going to be the world's fastest ship or the world's best ship at all. Um, I mean, it looks armoured and impressive, but uh, no, 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 no. Right, main guns, screw it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, secondary guns. There you go. <laughs> perfectly, perfectly sensible ship, right? Uh, gonna have a little bit of an off weight offset. Oh yeah, the thing is absolutely just gonna explode everywhere instantly. Uh, let's go for um, I don't know high TNT, um, super heavy shells. things to put on the ship um <laughs> yeah oh yeah this is super wrong could i too yes excellent choice let's uh, let's have all the explodiness can reduce can i get this in and as a minimum displacement one i think i can um still got about 10 percent we add Range, yes, that's very important. 
Um, you can always get sonar array and a radio. Uh, um, yeah, sure, that works. No, no, I'm allowed to have I'm allowed to have these up I'm allowed to have these upgrades, which might actually make the scenario doable. But um yeah, that's definitely a glass cannon, alright. <laughs> Has an armored belt of eight inches and that's it. That's literally it. Nothing else is armored, it's all tinfoil. It's like an inflatable ship. Right, let's go. <laughs> Oh, my word. It is a glass shotgun. Yeah, well, pretty much. Oh, my word. That's a big battle cruiser with a weird triple funnel setup. Battleship looks interesting. Anyway, Z glass cannon. Oh my word. Just. Oh wow, secondary guns opening up already. The battle cruiser, and then we've got some quite small battleships, and a couple of heavy cruisers. Well, we scored a hit. Oh my <laughs> Oh my word Good grief Look at that poor ship Look at it Holy Ow. <laughs> yes, welcome to SpaceX's new uh, marine launch system. Oh, oh, Jesus. I mean, it does hit hard, to be fair to it. it certainly hits hard. Oh, <laughs> I mean that battle cruiser has been absolutely devastated by that. That flooding could be terminal, depending on uh, how the ship's put together. Here comes the next salvo. Oh dear. Not gonna get an idea on this thing before it sinks. Nope, bye bye. Okay, well, this is going a hell of a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> Battle cruiser down. Uh, we have taken some uh, taken some hits from 19 inch guns, which I think were on the battle cruiser. Uh, two of them. Uh, <laughs> got two ricochets, and then of course the rest of them overpent, <laughs> and it's done 18 damage. That is unreal. 
We're still trying to identify the uh, sinking battlecruiser. <laughs> oh my word. It's completely outrageous. Come on, we're going to get an ID before she sinks. Yeah, there we go. Okay, 141 million, 19 inch high TNT guns, few bulkheads, 31 knots, some armor. But good. Oh no, I died. <laughs> From a cruiser, 8 inch gun. Because <laughs> I wasn't looking. Oh my word. <laughs> oh dearie me. Well, there you go. That's what happens when you build a glass cannon. You, uh, you you might have some impressive damage output, but good God, anyone looks at you. <coughs> Even halfway funny. Eight-inch shell. I think it went uh, straight into one of the magazines. <laughs> Just the entire ship disappears. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I missed the, the actual explosion. You could see it in the background um, as I was talking about the enemy battle cruise. <laughs> Oh, my word. Anyway, uh, a silly one for you today. Uh, those of you who are watching this on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, uh, see you again next time for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.